Hello! Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Bladder Cancer. Treatment Guide This module is part 4 of a 7-part series on bladder cancer. Bladder cancer is one of the most common cancers, affecting approximately 68,000 adults in the United States each year. Bladder cancer occurs in men more frequently than it does in women, and usually affects older adults, though it can happen at any age. Although it's most common in the bladder, this same type of cancer can occur in other parts of the urinary tract drainage system. About 7 out of every 10 bladder cancers diagnosed start out at an early stage when bladder cancer is highly treatable. However, even early stage bladder cancer may recur in the bladder. For this reason, people with bladder cancer typically need follow-up tests for years after treatment to look for bladder cancer that recurs or advances to a higher stage. In this course, the objective is to help you know how to go about treating bladder cancer. You may have a team of doctors helping to treat your cancer. If your tumor is in the early stages, you may only need to see a urologist. If your tumor is stage 2 or above, you may also have a medical oncologist and or radiation oncologist on your board care team. Your doctors will help you decide which treatment options are right for you. Your treatment will depend on your cancer stage cancer grade, possible side effects, location of cancer, and general health. Your treatment will probably include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, and immunotherapy. Surgery either alone or together with another treatment is part of most bladder cancer treatments. You may have a terped or transurethral resection of bladder tumor, which means your doctor puts a cystoscope through your urethra to enter your bladder and removes or burns away tumors. You could also have this procedure when you are being diagnosed. If your cancer is more advanced, you may need surgery that removes part of your bladder, called a partial cystectomy, or all of your bladder, called a radical cystectomy. If this is necessary, you might also need surgery to make another path for urine to leave your body, and or remove other organs that the cancer is spread to. Chemotherapy uses one or a combination of medicines to kill cancer cells or stop them from dividing but it can also harm your body's healthy cells. You can get chemotherapy through intravesical therapy or through injections to your veins or muscles. Intravesical chemotherapy is inserted through a catheter into your bladder. The catheter stays in for a few minutes, then you hold the medicine in your bladder for an hour or two before urinating. It only affects the cancer cells that it comes into contact with, so it is called a local or regional therapy. It is used for early-stage bladder cancers because the drugs do not reach beyond your bladder lining. Systemic chemotherapy means the chemotherapy is injected into your bloodstream, so it goes to your entire body. There are several different kinds of this chemotherapy, and most bladder cancers are treated with a combination. Radiation treatment uses high-energy x-ray to kill cancer cells. Your doctor uses a machine to aim the rays at your cancer from outside your body. Radiation treatments usually last only a few minutes and are given five days a week for several weeks. Immunotherapy, also called biologic therapy, uses medicines to help your body's immune system better find and destroy cancer cells. Immunotherapies that treat bladder cancer include intravesical BCG and immune checkpoint inhibitors. The most common immunotherapy for bladder cancer is called Bacillus calmet garin or BCG. BCG is a bacterium similar to tuberculosis. This intravesical therapy goes into your bladder and activates your immune system to attack the cancer cells in your bladder. It is used if your cancer is in early stage or after surgery to prevent your cancer from coming back. It is usually given for several weeks. Immune checkpoint inhibitors is a new treatment that fights your cancer by blocking a protein called PDL1. Usually, PDL1 prevents your immune system from finding and attacking cancer cells, but anti PDL1 medicines keep the protein from working so your immune system can recognize and destroy cancer cells. It is used if you have advanced bladder cancer and chemotherapy did not work. This kind of immunotherapy is injected into your veins usually every three weeks. Your plan may also include treatments to help relieve your symptoms or treat complications caused by cancer. This is called palliative care. Once you begin treatment, you might have to repeat some of the same tests you took to diagnose your cancer. This will help your doctor find out if your treatment is working. The results of these tests may show that you need to try a few different treatments or combinations to find the right one for you. If you do not get the results you are hoping for right away, do not give up. 
work with your doctor to understand your options. Please feel free to investigate these sites and others for more information and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part 4 of this 7-part series on bladder cancer and come back for part 5.